Israel's hunt for Hamas expanding this morning with boots on the ground in just about every part of the Gaza Strip. So we can tell you evacuations are ordered, but civilians caught in the crossfire say they're running out of places to go. CBS reporter Naomi Ruckham joins us live from New York with the latest. Good morning, Naomi. Reed, yesterday, a U.S. warship in the Red Sea responded to drone attacks against three separate commercial ships believed to be carried out by Houthis in Yemen. This has only heightened fears that the war could escalate on an international level. In Gaza over the weekend, the Israeli military struck more than 400 Hamas targets, but fighting on both the ground and from the air could complicate the rescue of more than 100 hostages still missing in Gaza. Israeli military flares lit up the night sky over Gaza, followed by the sound of explosions. Israel resumed its bombardment of the territory over the weekend after a week-long ceasefire ended Friday. Some Gaza residents say they were ordered to evacuate via leaflets dropped from the sky, but say there's nowhere safe to go. In northern Gaza, these boys screamed in search of their father, believed to be buried under rubble following an Israeli airstrike. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health says the death toll inside Gaza has surpassed 15,000. Hamas is still holding about 130 hostages in custody. Now, many of those freed are describing their torment in detail. We just slept and cried, recalls Daniel Aloni. Our girls have seen things that kids should not see. Hostages also recalled being desperate for food and air in Hamas's tunnels. Israeli soldiers say they've destroyed about 500 tunnel shafts belonging to Hamas, many hidden, they say, near civilian infrastructure. Hamas deliberately shelters themselves inside yes. residential buildings, hospitals and schools, yes. basically on purpose, putting civilians in the line of fire. The Biden administration is under increased scrutiny from some congressional Democrats who are asking them to put more pressure on Israel to reduce civilian casualties. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has said the chamber could begin work on a legislative package that includes aid measures to Israel as soon as this week. The Israeli military said it has started using one measure directed by the Biden administration, an online map of neighborhoods telling civilians where to evacuate before a strike. Reed. So let's talk about those neighborhoods. A lot of buildings are destroyed, and we know that hostages are still being held somewhere in all that mess with the fighting going on. How do they get the hostages out? Well, Reed, one way is apparently by drone. The British government said it plans to fly unarmed surveillance drones over the Gaza Strip in search of hostages taken by Hamas. The Ministry of Defense said the flights will not have a combat role and only the information will be passed on for the purpose of rescuing hostages. Reed? We'll be watching it, and we know you are as well from New York. Naomi, thank you so much.